So in this example, footer alignment, again, we go through the same process. What do you want to do? In this case, we want to change the alignment of the footer to display on the right side. And you'll see down here that the footer is actually on the left side. So we want to change that. We want to customize the theme and move it to the right side. So the second step is to ask, what is the special name or the selector of the exact section you want to change? So again, we're going to use Firebug in Firefox. So we will preview this page in Firefox. Click on Firebug. Click on the selection button here. And we want to scroll down and we want to select the footer here. So we do that and we see that we're actually on a P tag, which is an HTML tag for paragraph. And if we open that up using the triangle here, you'll see that, yep, this is has the text in the footer that we want to change. So we're going to go back to Rapid Weaver, open the page inspector. Again, we want to enter our code in the header CSS, right? Like so. And again, the footer was in a paragraph tag, so we enter a P, two curly braces, like so. And we're going to enter the CSS code on this new line to make it easier to read. And again, this P for paragraph will target all the paragraphs on the site, and we don't want to do that. We want to target just the footer. So we're going to go back to Firebug, and you'll see that this P is actually inside of a div with an ID of footer. So let's add that to our code to make sure we only target the footer. Again, an ID uses a pound sign, and then footer. And again, we put in a space here, and now we know that we're targeting just the P that's inside the footer here, like so. So now we have our special name, and the next step in the process, the final step, is to ask what CSS code can you use to make this change? So again, we want to change the alignment of the footer to display on the right side, and we want to find the CSS code that will help us do that. So let's go back to Firefox, to the culture code CSS reference, and again, this might be layout, but I don't really think so. I think it's more with text. Maybe it's with spacing. There it is. Yep. So what we want to use, it is under text and it's under spacing here. We'll see a text alignment and this will allow us to specify the horizontal alignment of lines of text, left, right, center, or justify. And again, we wanted to use right. So text align and right. Let's try that in our CSS code text hyphen align a colon space. We want it to be on the right, semicolon. We've done that. Let's move the page inspector out of the way. And now you'll see that the footer has moved to the right. And that's exactly what we wanted to do. So it took us a little bit of time to find the exact CSS code, but everything's working properly. And again, we used the same three-step process. We asked what we want to do. We want to change the alignment of the footer to display on the right side. Then we asked what's the special name, the selector in CSS speak for the exact section we want to change. So we went to Firefox, we opened a preview page for the foot alignment example, hit the selector button, and then moved down and made sure we selected the footer here. So we saw that it's in a P tag, an HTML paragraph inside of a div with an idea footer. So back in Rapid Weaver, we ID of hash mark and then footer and then a space and then the P so that we're targeting the paragraph tag inside of the footer here. Again, the curly braces and using the online CSS reference, we found that under the text section and spacing, under text align, we could send, put stuff on the right here. So text align, again the colon, 
the value right in a semicolon. Make sure you don't miss the hyphen here. And once we did that, then the footer was moved over to the right side of the page. So as you can see, the three-step process of customizing a wrapper weaver theme is actually quite simple and it's the same process for any kind of change that you might want to make. CSS is very flexible and allows you to do a lot of great things. Uh, you can't do everything but you can do a remarkable amount of stuff with CSS. So I hope this in-depth tutorial on how to use the simple three-step process helps you get started on customizing any wrapper weaver themes you're using and happy weaving!